Hi Gemini, welcome to your Gemri, general, Gemri, generally, generally, general, general week ahead. This is January. I'm in January. Um, yeah, your week ahead. I'm going to be trying to do weekly readings uh, on a release for a Sunday, Monday, so that um, going forward, so we have at least that. Wow, for the sign of communication, I cannot get my words out. It's like your brain is ticking over quicker than you can physically talk or do anything at the moment. It's like you're tripping over your thoughts. Wow. Um, take a moment to breathe. Okay. Let's get this general read going for Gemini, please. Yeah, you just kind of need to stop. Stop talking. Stop doing, just stop for a minute and pause and just recenter yourself. Can I have a card for Gemini, please? Eight of Wands. So something is moving at pace. I think you can feel that something is imminent. Something is coming through this week. Um, and you kind of want to just, if you keep talking and keep making it happen. Um, there's a lot of talking going on this week. But I feel like you're talking, you feel like you're talking to yourself at the moment, Gemini. Like what you're saying isn't clear and it isn't getting cutting through. Like no one's listening. Like you're talking to the woods, like talking to the trees. Nobody answers you back. You don't seem to be getting a response. I could talk to a brick wall. I'm getting, I might as well talk to a brick wall. I might as well talk to a brick wall. No one's hearing me. No one's listening. Wow. To the point where you're just like, <laughs> fuck the lot of you. <laughs> fuck you lot. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. You're not hearing me. You're not listening. Wow. That's quite the uh, reaction to being unheard. Wow. I mean, don't get me wrong. This is, I'm getting temper tantrum. You're going to have a proper tantrum. No one's fucking listening to me. Um, fuck the lot of you burning down the house not literally please don't burn down the house literally I'm just getting a metaphor burning down the house you are just burning bridges fuck the lot of you I think you just feel really alone and really unheard Gemini and that's a really horrible place to be isolated like no one's got your back you don't you feel like you don't have the support network you need balance are you trying to juggle everything all at once and no one's hearing that you need help and now it's got to crisis point and you just need a bit of help balancing you just the thing is you are managing you are managing sorry you are you are managing <laughs> Or you at least appear to be managing. I think that's why they're so they're not listening because they're like, well, you're fine. What are you talking about? You're giving out warning signs that you're not fine and you're about to come crashing down and they're just not hearing you. Gemini, they're not hearing you. Sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. They're not hearing you and you're at crisis point. Yeah, you just need to be kind to yourself and get healing, taking time out, stepping away. Um, you, you are keeping everything going. You are keeping everything going and everything is balanced. Everything's on kilter apart from you. Obviously, you've hit quite, but you are managing to juggle to keep the things on the air. Even though you're literally standing on one leg, you are managing to somehow keep that all together. Um Feeling quite overloaded, so please, please, please take some time out for you this week. That's a very sombre image, isn't it? Um, but it's all about resting, recovering, taking the time to process. Um, I feel like you've been quite heartbroken that nobody is there for you. And that you've been calling out for help and it's taken this crisis point for someone to just come along and help you. I'm getting a lot of emotional it's quite an emotional overwhelm rather than a lack of capability of doing it. Um, it's the mental load. It's the emotional load of everything that's going on with you. 
you just need to take some time out for you literally try if you can and give yourself a lion just enjoy the simple pleasures try and find your light again um once you've rested and recovered oh my god you can take the day on again you'll get your fire back joy pleasure sunbathing if you're in the seven he southern hemisphere go out and enjoy the sunshine um obviously we're freezing cold up here in the north winter is coming up here in the north um <laughs> in, where i'm in the uk and everything's kind of shut down and i think a lot of people are feeling very frustrated that they can't access support as easily as they they kind of feel like support is shut off to them a lot of things are shut at the moment this could be you battling for your child to get extra support during the, the homeschooling um there will be a positive outcome whatever it is you are at crisis point about there is going to be a positive outcome there is nothing you can actively do now to make that happen i'm getting ehcp the help and care plan help educational health and care plan some sort of thing for your child to have extra help um or an assessment for them or some sort of treatment for them you've reached crisis point there's nothing see the, the four of swords is also a time the four of knives is a time of inactivity there's nothing you can actually physically mentally do right now to make it happen it will happen when it's supposed <sighs> it's really frustrating because you kind of want it to happen now it will happen when it's supposed to <laughs> i'm getting that you might have an outcome at the end of this week please do not pin hopes on that because that's not for everybody that that will, will happen this week there is nothing you and again you've got the high priestess which is you, there's nothing you can physically tangibly do you have done everything you can at this point in time to make that move things along it's not in your hands anymore you literally have to leave it up to the powers that be for it to happen so all you can really do is just enjoy if you're trying to to get an appointment for your child for, for the uh, educational support um to have them tested i'm getting a strong autism vibe and i can't shake that i can't help that i'm getting a strong autism you're waiting to get them tested for autism it is just it will happen. It really will happen. There is no more doors you can bang. There are no more phone numbers you can ring. It is literally it is up to the fates when it comes in. And that's really frustrating. you. <laughs> so all you need to do at the moment is enjoy your time with your child or whatever this is that's frustrating you. Just enjoy what you can at the moment. Savour that. Um, I can't. There's nothing more you can do. You are doing all you can. And that is what is frustrating for you. You are banging doors. You are ringing numbers. You are emailing left, right and centre. Asking for the help. It just isn't there for you. Do what you can to support them. You are doing all you can. okay i mean you're wishing hard for it to happen wishing hard i'm really getting that this is for a child to get some sort of emotional support to balance whether that's counseling or like i said an autism assessment so they can be supported in school or just in general when you don't want your kid i'm getting you don't want your kid labeled but if a label gets them the support they need then they need the label i'm not getting that you okay you're coming up against that there's a, a man blocking you at the moment a male or somebody masculine energy a boss a manager they're the ones that are the problem at the moment they are the one that's the problem at the moment There will be a woman that comes in. I'm not getting it this week. So just there's a woman that will become involved and she will make things happen. When you find when you deal with a woman 
and you'll know you will know who it is you'll know finally this you'll get a gut feeling like they're actually going to do something you can feel it they're actually going to do something when you get through to a woman let it be this week there's nothing you can do this week to push this along so just enjoy your time with your family enjoy your time if you can't get if this is to do with schoolwork if you can't get schoolwork done you can't get schoolwork done there's nothing more you can do than what you're doing just enjoy it keep them comfortable keep them happy keep them calm um do what you can when you can please don't put the pressure on yourself feeling like you have to perform when you finally because i'm getting that you keep beating yourself up that you're not achieving the work they're not getting the work done um con obviously that i think the, the teacher's aware and i'm getting that the head teacher or somebody like that is aware i'm really getting this is a child who needs autistic support He's autistic or at least on the spectrum and they're looking for support um yeah when you get to this um when this woman finally you finally get to this woman to deal with it they really know what they're doing they really get where you're at they get your frustrations you feel heard you will finally feel heard you will feel seen you will feel respected because i'm getting that you're not even feeling respected right now gemini but you will feel yeah heard calm respected and they will finally make things happen that if they can't help you they, and they will signpost you to places that you can get support that you didn't know were there before they're quite new sources of support new lines of support that are coming up and they'll put you in touch with those people they will do what they need to do their end but they can also send you to other places to get additional support it's not instead of them doing something it's additional support clarity confirmation it is coming it is coming this woman really knows and make sure you get their name because that's who you need to work with to get things moving. You need a point of reference, a person of reference. You're looking for a person of reference and they are your person. You will be successful. You will get the support. Sorry, the cards that have come out of death, which is the end of that frustration. And into a new way, your child will get the support they need. Strength. You. Just... <laughs> that looks like shared, doesn't it? Um strength you just, you have it within you you've been fighting for them the whole way through it's just a bit longer it will come through you will be successful you might start hearing good news in about six weeks time possibly but once you do you will get the support you need moving forward they can start making progress it's just i get it you're frustrated beating your way through you just have to Whoever the manager is at the moment, they are not helping. They are, this, they are really not helping and that they are leaving you frustrated and unheard, unseen, disrespected. You actually feel disrespected to a point. They could have been incredibly rude and condescending, incredibly rude and condescending. Um, but yeah, the person that you need to get help will, you will know it's, it's a woman or at least a passionate, confident person that really knows their shit they know their shit and you can tell by talking to them like oh my god they actually know what they're doing they actually understand the situation and they'll start moving forward they'll moving it forward for you can i have a card please for gemini a card for gemini okay hold your vision absolutely keep the faith it is going to happen work through your fears i don't know why that's come through you might need to have heard that work through your fears a win-win outcome is forecast. I think you're doubting that it's going to happen. It is going to happen. Um, a win-win outcome is forecast. You will get the support you need. Um, I think if this is the school, it's not that they can't. They don't want to help you. They can't help you. They need funding. They need funding. And once they get that, I think you're really scared that the school don't want to help. They do want to help. They do want to help support your child. They do want to be there. They are just limited in what they can do without this assessment in place or without this plan in place. They can't help you until it is. Um, you are scared and terrified that you're not going to get the help, that you're not going to have anybody help you, that you're not going to get heard, that your child is going to go without support. Keep the faith. It's coming. It's coming. They, they are coming. The help is coming as soon as you get through to that woman it's not going to be this week it's not going to be this week just enjoy the rest of this week um it is coming it's so close 
if you're at crisis point to the point where you need other types of help let someone know communicate get some help juggling those balls if you were in uk lockdown you can um you can bring in a grandparent or a family member you can use informal childcare if you need a break just to sit and process and make those phone calls without the kids running around um you will get that help you've just got to keep the faith you've got to keep the faith it's almost like you go in it's never going to happen it's never going to happen it's never going to happen is what's blocking it like i'm never going to get through to someone i'm never get you are going to get through to the right person it's not going to be this week not going to be this week please don't you're just going to frustrate yourself if you go this week and it will push you to a crisis point um let it rest this week let it rest this week um it will happen you just kind of need to focus on all the good that's going on the time with the kids if you can't teach them everything you can't teach them everything you're you're human um if you have more than one child as well oh my god i have three at home and i fit this all in around the kids and oh my god i've struggled this week so and that's with me home uh, all week without having to do working from home um having to do working from home is just i don't know how people are doing it um let alone without fighting this on top so give it a rest this week don't push it don't make any calls you're just going to frustrate yourself if you do let things I'm, I'm really getting that this person needs to be off sick the person that you're dealing with and they will be off sick or not in for whatever reason you'll get put through to a woman and she will pick it up and make stuff happen make the wheels move and motion and you'll just know you will just know when you talk to them they know what they're doing they are your clear light but it is not this week i wish it was but it's not um i'm getting create art whether that's you and the and your children if you can't do written work at least do some art get something creative going get get your head out of the boring academic normal stuff drink tea give yourself some time out have a cup of tea do not put the pressure on yourself that you have to do literally set them up the play-doh have a cup of tea and watch them make a mess or give them the pens and pencils and a coloring in sheet give them a coloring in sheet so I think it's Twinkle. They do like colouring sheets that also teach them things at the same time, like colouring the continents. I'm for like my daughter is like year four last year and she had like colouring in different countries or continents or whatever. Find some crap. They're not crap. They're, oh, they are educational, but the non. Not the old de refined, defined constrictive subjects of english and maths i'm getting that your kid does not thrive in an environment that constricts them to sit in there and having to write if they're not creative they don't they're not creative with their writing they are creative with their drawing and their heart and music and they just thrive in something that isn't that academic if they pick up a pen and paper or even the ipad with procreate do you know what i mean just when they're drawing or creating, oh my God, they're beautiful. Or singing, or it's just some sort of the creative arts. Give them the, the, the drum, give them the guitar, the ukulele, the kazoo, it doesn't matter. Or let give them the dressing up box so they can create a play. It doesn't matter what it is. Let them create that and then sit there, have a cup of tea. And then when they want to show you the show, you're all recharging in a happy, positive place to go. Darling, that is absolutely beautiful. I feel like because they're frustrated in school anyway, because obviously they've got whatever's going on and they feel constricted in that environment, that they are just not thriving. And it gives you both an opportunity at home to find something that you can both create, connect with that is low stress and magical for both of you. They can do it without you needing the one-to-one -one support with them so you have a bit of a break lego i'm getting that lego is amazing literally buy a fucking lego set um and give them lego and let them just they will sit there and they will get it done because of the focus of doing the lego set building it going through the processes is following the rules following the directions i don't know what about if that's what it is give them a lego set and have a cup of tea and just watch them 
just sit there and watch them loving something like building a lego set or a train set or a marble run or painting whatever it is that is just their thing sit there and watch it don't push maths don't push english if it's not essential if you can push get it done magical but they are not going to sit there and do maths if they're frustrated let them get their creative things you have a cup of tea and do that just recharge also positive affirmations i know it feels silly and it says on here i love myself i choose love brave beautiful worthy grateful happy healthy positive affirmations and like i said i think the fact that you're it's almost like you're blocking yourself because you're like it's never going to happen it's never going to happen it's not going to happen we're not getting anywhere all you're seeing is what isn't happening i think once you start being sitting and watching the, the magical moments and being in a place of this is amazing look they're just sat there enjoying themselves i'm having a cup of tea i can't remember the last time i managed to sit and have just have a cup of tea without a meltdown or having to fight someone on the phone and I think that positive energy will unblock everything and this person will come in. It will happen. Keep the faith. You know it's going to happen. Just know, just know that you're not going to phone this week, but know that when you phone, the next time you call them to chase up, you're going to feel that, that foot in the door. You're just going to know. You're just going to know in your gut what phone call it is and just go, they're going to answer the phone. There's going to be an answer today. There's going to be progress today. Just know when you pick up the phone, there's going to be progress. It will not be this week. Maybe next week or the week after. But you just keep telling yourself, it is going to happen. It will happen. It's going to happen. It just takes time. And I don't mean that like you should be waiting months on end. I just, progress will start happening once you're in a more positive space. Um... And that's not right now because you're in a really sad crisis, negative headspace, um, which, by the way, isn't a bad. <laughs> I understand it. I'm not saying you're irrational or anything like that. I understand the overwhelm and the frustration. I can, I can feel that like you just want to cry. Why can't I get anywhere with it? Um, you kind of need to take focus off of that. Focus on what you can control what you can make happen and savouring the magical moments and kind of focusing more on what is right rather than what isn't what you can't control and what isn't going right when you focus on lack you get more lack when you focus on abundance and happiness and what you do have more positive things come to you money goes to money is is what i always think when i think of it, money goes to money and it's not that it's because people who have money go I've got money so more money comes to them money comes to me I always have money so money always comes to them and people <laughs> it's, it's a bit more complicated than that I get that but generally I was always brought up money goes to money because people who have money just go I always have money and more money will always come to them because they just know money's always gonna it's that sort of energy flow and um, whereas people who don't have money and go oh my god I owe this and I owe that oh my god I haven't got enough for this it almost feels like the bills accumulate it's it's yeah it's law of attraction but yeah it will happen it won't happen this week but it is coming and you will just need to find that person who answers the phone and you'll go this is the call this is the call this is the person and it'll all move from there i'm really sorry that isn't like yes it's going to happen this week for you gemini i'm really sorry <sighs> please stay strong um you're an excellent parent by the way you are an excellent parent you're too hard on yourself telling yourself that because it hasn't happened for these people that they haven't this hasn't come through yet you're being too hard on yourself and i'm getting that there's extra pressures on top of just getting this thing happening so um focus on what you can control what you can make happen do what you can do because i think when things start moving i'm getting a house move um as well on top which is fucking huge or a new child is on the way as well control what you can unblock everything else that you can if it is a house move make sure that everything all moves as smoothly as you can with that what you can control there i think once you start unblocking things 
because this is going to move quite quickly once this starts moving this issue starts moving the other thing is going to come in so you don't want to be battling both at the same time if or all of everything at one and all of everything at the same time so if you are moving house start packing a little bit um and just ticking off other things around that because when this starts moving it's going to take up quite a lot of your focus so um because you're going to be signposted off to other places to get help because i think once one thing moves everything kind of it's kind of like it's the master key dunk and then it just goes everything else kind of needs to move as well and you need to kind of keep up with it and if you've got like stuff here going on at the same time it's like you're going to be like that and you kind of need to focus on so if that starts going this kind of needs to have already happened or at least partially happened be a bit more manageable keep things balanced keep things juggling um anyway gemini i hope that's been of any help at whatsoever um thank you so much for watching as i said this is going to be a weekly thing now so i'll see you again next week if not before bye for now